Hey there, my name is Chaos and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. Today's video will be about the Atari 2600. And this is my Woody 4 Switch and I love this console. It's one of my favorite old school consoles. And there is only one thing I do not like about this Atari 2600 and that is that it outputs RF signal. Now keep in mind this console came on the market in 1977 so it makes sense that it uses RF but it's um, really difficult to record gameplay and the RF signal just doesn't look okay on a modern TV and those are the only type of TVs I have. I know there are um, old school fans that prefer uh, RF output on an old TV but I'm more of a modern gamer and I like to have the best quality on modern TVs. So this video will be about removing the RF cable and adding composite video to my Atari 2600. So let's go! What you see right here is the best image I could find on my TV. And as you can see, Mrs. Pac-Man is not yellow, the cherry is not red, and actually the level should be pink. So let's do some modding. Okay, let's start by opening up our Atari 2600. And because this mod replaces the RF output with composite, we won't be using this RF cable anymore. So let's throw it out. For this project we are using a pre-assembled kit from retrofixes.com which comes with this cool looking PCB, cables and plugs. Next we need to remove the metal shielding so we can reach the components which are under there. And we won't be placing this shielding back because it doesn't really serve any purpose. Next, we are going to drill some holes into the back of the console. And for this, we are using tape to keep the drill bit from sliding around. And after doing some measurements, we can actually drill some holes. And here is the result, nice and clean, and this is with the RCA plugs in. Nice! Next it's time to actually start modifying the mainboard. And we start doing that by removing this transistor, which is labeled either Q201 or Q202, depending on your version. Next, we are going to remove the PCB that is connected to this RF module. And that is because we are going to use these pins to connect our mod. And there it goes. Optionally, you can remove these two resistors and this capacitor. It is set to improve the picture quality, so I chose to remove them. Next, we connect three wires to the main board. One for ground, one for 5 volts and one for the video signal. And these three wires go to the input side of our little PCB. Next, we connect two wires to the output side. One is for the video signal and one is for ground. And now it's time to stick the PCB to our main board. We are now ready to connect wires to our RCA plugs. First the wire for the video signal and then ground. And because all three plugs need ground, 
we connect them to the ground wire of our PCB. Next up is audio. We connect the wire to one of the audio plugs and then to the bottom of resistor 208 or capacitor 206. And because we want stereo sound, well not really stereo but the same sound from two plugs, we connect the two plugs together. And that's all the soldering we need to do. And now it's time to put everything back together. And there it is, the end result, a modded 2600. This is how the game looked like before we started modding. And this is after the mod. Finally, it looks like Mrs. Pac-Man, a really nice mod. So, as you can see, a cool little mod that adds composite video to this almost 30 years old console. I can now finally easily record its gameplay footage, I can connect it to any TV in the house, and I don't have to worry about cables sticking out when I put it in my display cabinet. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have suggestions please let me know in the comments below, and for now, I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.